Hello everyone, welcome back. We are continuing to try to get our plows ready to start plowing, hopefully this week. We, uh, I was thinking earlier that uh, the biggest mistake a farmer can make is to get in a hurry. Well, guess what I'm doing? I'm getting in a hurry. But uh, that is a huge mistake that you don't want to make. But uh, what I'm doing on these plows, once again, these are Ford 101 spring trip plows. Uh, I think Ford quit making them in the 1980s. And parts are getting harder and harder to come by. They're three-point hitch, mounted plows. Uh, I don't know if they made them any bigger. I think they offered them in a four bottom, but they're three or two bottom, most of them. Uh, these are spring trip. There's a mechanism, a tripper mechanism in here that if you hit a rock, stump, something solid, that this foot will trip and uh, keep from breaking anything. And you back up and it resets. Now, these plows are getting harder to find parts for. And, uh, So you don't want to wear them out and the more you trip them the more it wears so you want to keep them good and tight you want them tight enough that they don't trip in hard ground you want them to just trip if they hit something solid so uh, that's what we're doing today and the way we do that i don't know whether you can see it or not maybe on this one back here there is a uh, spring in here in a j-boat and you just turn this clockwise to tighten it, counterclockwise to loosen it. Now, they're in pretty good adjustment. The front one needs to be tightened a little. It trips more than the others and it's probably wore more than the others because it's the front one. It's going to get there first. And so it makes sense. So we're going to try to do this. My camera battery's dying, but we're going to try to uh, get this adjusted and uh, We'll get set up here and give it a shot. Okay. The end of the tripper is right here. It's an inch and a sixteenth. That range fits on it. And what you do, like I said, this one, you pull that up, and that actually will trip the plow. You gotta pull it way up to do it. But the reason I'm pulling it up is so I can get on this J boat and tighten it up. First I'm gonna loosen it. So that's a half a turn. Or I'm gonna try to loosen it. That's a full turn. So when I go in, I'm probably going to go in about two turns. The reason I backed it out, I want to get some oil on that boat. So I hook my wrench, wrench back on it. There's one turn. There's two turns, or turn and a half. And I think it's bottomed out. So uh, that may be as much as I can tighten it. Anyhow, the reason I show you that is these are a really good set of turning plows for a small farmer or a gardener or whatever. So if you run across the set, you know, pick them up. They do a real good job on small acreage. 
I like them better than I do the John Deere's. I have pulled Massey Ferguson. Uh, they do a pretty good job, but I like the Ford. You can still get points and shins for them, but the tripper parts, uh, you're hard to come by. You'd have to find a donor set of plows, probably. But, uh, hope you learned something. It, uh, we're going to try to see if we can get these dusted up here. Try to get ready to plow some this week. Weather forecast calling for it to be cool, sunny, and windy, which is fine. That'll, uh, that will be fine. That'll dry the ground good. So, uh, we'll, uh, we're going to give these a once over and get with it. So, until next time, like us, subscribe to us. Check us out on our Facebook page. Comment. Tell us what you think. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.